Good morning everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Jakub Vanish and today we're gonna be looking at tips and tricks for iOS 18 which just came out uh, last week and yeah uh, we're gonna be checking it on my uh, iPhone 13 Pro. It's an older machine I'm still waiting you know for my 16 Pro to come to the mailbox hopefully it will come soon but uh, actually the performance of uh, iOS 18 on iPhone 13 Pro is actually quite quite good so without further ado these are my 15 tips and tricks or my 15 let's say best features that I recommend everybody to try. So first of all uh, th one thing that I would uh, recommend to everybody is if you you know hold on your desktop or on your wallpaper and you get to this menu, you can click edit and customize it. And here you have more customization options. You can customize for light version. This is what you all know and love. Dark, so it's completely inverted colors, very, very dark. Not completely inverted, but it is actually, you know, easier on the eyes. And you can also go tinted and actually choose, you know, something pretty cool like, I don't know, this, this red color, for example. So this is, this is really cool if you like these type of things. I would recommend anybody to try this. I am more up to using, you know, the standard or maybe in the dark. Uh, when it's dark in the evening, I go to the dark mode. Now, the second thing, my favorite thing is customizable control center. So the control center looks different now. It looks like this. You can scroll through different menus and different categories, but uh, you can also customize it. So again, if I hold here or there was like a plus button uh, on the top, you can completely reshuffle this and give it a totally new look. I like it a lot, to be honest. See screen recording, etc. You can really make it yours, just like with your desktop or with your wallpaper. So I recommend to try it. By the way, with your uh, icons, you can edit home screen in a way that you don't have to follow this grid completely and you can have, you know, empty blank spaces. I don't have it here, but you can absolutely totally do it. Uh, let me maybe check it here. Uh, I can move these icons, you know, somewhere here, for example. So that's that's new. That was never there. I can recommend to do it. So that's for uh, the number two. Now, now number three is in a calculator app. So if I go to search and calculator, um, there is a there is a converter now. So you can convert. You know, see here there is convert. Uh, you can type, uh, put it in and you can convert before, uh, between different currencies, but also between like weight, you know, from kilograms and pounds to, or feet to meters and this kind of thing. So I, I, I think this is really nice. Uh, so again, that's, that's now here. And now my, uh, fourth, uh, favorite feature is actually math notes. So if you go to math notes here in the, in the calculator app, you can see, you know, uh, how does it work? You can basically type something in or, uh, write it down with your handwriting and it will finish you know the calculation for you so this is this is pretty cool to be honest okay so that's the next thing number five is uh, regarding the password app which is here so if i click on the password app which is new it's basically like a last pass successor or one password you know i just need to scan my face here you have all your passwords that you want to check but what is pretty cool and that's my number six actually is you can if you have friends over that are let's say on um on uh, android you can just generate a qr code for them to join your wi-fi uh, wi-fi network so this is this is really cool and you can you can check it out all right, next ones are gonna be in iMessage. So if I go to iMessage here, you can first of all schedule a message. So if I click here on the plus and click on send later, you can set up exactly when you wanna when you wanna send something. So let's do it today, but maybe you know at 19:44, 41. I'm just gonna type something in, and that's it. And it will be sent by this time. Now, uh, when in messages, uh, you can also set up different effects that were not there. So if I select this text, I go to text effects. Um, you can, you know, see here there is like explode, ripple, bloom, jitter, not big, small, etc. See, so this is this is really cool, something that that we were not able to do before. Um, and also there is a new feature for people that are in iOS 18. Here, uh, this is the FaceTime icon. If I click on this, there is now share my screen or ask to share screen. So you can share screen on iPhones, between iPhones and also iPads, I believe, or maybe a MacBook as well. So this is, this is really nice that it's there now. 
Um, now let's go to the next thing. So this was my number seven, eight, and nine. Uh, actually, there is more. Uh, number ten is also here. You can react to different messages um, now with different emojis. So you can see that there's quite a lot of options. Now they are colorful, but you can add your own completely different emoji. I don't know, for example, uh, let's use, I don't know, a police guy. So you can you can send this now as a, you know, this is something that you, people are used to having from WhatsApp. So now we have it here. So that was my number 10. Now, number 11 is you can now lock an app. So I can, for example, lock this app by, you know, holding on it and uh, you can go to require face ID and it will just, you know, open for me, for my face. So this is, this is new there, uh, especially for those people that are, I don't know, cheating on their loved one. Unfortunately, you know, there are people like that and they have a Tinder. You, you can, you know, lock it there. Um, not for me, definitely not for me. Now, uh, next tip is in Safari. So what is really cool is um, you can go, you know, to a web page and there is a new option to hide, you know, um, to hide, how is it called? Distracting content. So for example, this is an ad. This is, a, this is an advertisement. I can, you know, trigger this icon here and click on hide distracting items and then select, you know, what I want to hide. I can select this and it will, you know, never show up you know, for me anymore. So this is this is really cool yeah, the way, you know, to get rid of advertisement and commercials. Um, now, voice memos. If I go to voice memos app, it has now live transcriptions. So let me resume and I can start, you know, talking and it will, as you can see, it is capturing what I'm saying in real time. And this is very good also for note taking, you know, live transcriptions are really, really great. Um, okay. So that was my number. Let me check. 13. Uh, actually, we have two more to come. Now, um, there, is a, there is a new photos app. I have a love-hate relationship with it. At first, I honestly quite hated it. But if you go to photos, it now looks differently. But what I would recommend anybody to do because it's like everything is just in one scroll scrolling you know version you don't have these different categories here but what you should do is you can customize and reorder it so i reorder reordered it for myself the way i'm using it so this is much better than what uh, you know apple was pushing me to do so i recommend you know to customize and reorder yourself um and then there were two new things that i will not really show you here uh there was uh there, were, there are some new, let's say, hiking trails in uh, in Apple Maps. So if I go to Maps, um, yeah, I can trigger this. See, introducing custom roads, uh, build any kind of walk, blah, blah, blah. So now you can really use it for hiking as well, which is really cool. So if I go, I don't know, Reap Mountain, I should be able to also select... Uh, select something else than driving. I don't know how to trigger this here. Maybe it only works in... Oh, maybe here. Okay, yeah, you can select a custom route like this. Maybe it also only works. Ah, yeah, here. Here is hiking. So uh, it should be much better. I think it's probably better in the US than in, in Europe here, in uh, near Prague, in Czech Republic. But that's that's one thing. And one thing that I cannot use, I think it's on the on the newest uh, Apple, you know, devices, but not here. Is if you go to the battery settings, which is here, you should be able to select. Uh, exactly, you know, how you want to charge your battery. I cannot do it, but uh, normally with, I think, iPhone 15 and 16, you can select, you know, your maximum limit capacity for, for uh, battery uh, battery charging. So that's pretty cool because what you can do afterwards is basically uh, save your battery um, because what is, you know, causing the damage to the battery is li really putting it 200% and leaving it on there. So yeah, these were my, uh, let's say, 15, 16 tips for iOS 18. Let me know if you have some other ones that I forget. Otherwise, this has been Jakub Vanish, and thanks a lot, you know, for liking and subscribing. That really helps me out, and I wish you a great day, everybody. Take care and cheers. Bye-bye.